what is going on guys welcome back to yet another video now of course i am tipping my hat to you and i'm hoping that you will tip me with some likes on this video you can see that goal in the top left corner of your screen and i'm also trying to hit a goal of 150,000 subscribers on youtube so if you would be so kind as to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications i would be forever grateful i really would so in this video i'm very excited to bring to you the brand new legendary slug shotgun the sojourner's tail this is an absolutely crispy shotgun, a rapid hit opening shot roll, accurized fluted barrel and a range masterwork. Now I want to give a shout out to Reptile Freak for letting me hop on his account to try this thing out. This is an energy legendary slug shotty and it's the first one to ever get rapid hit on it. Rapid hit on a slug shotgun is a very interesting concept. At first I was kind of thinking it could be like a mini chaperone, right? Getting increased accuracy on every headshot. However, I do think ultimately you're gonna get more uptime on this perk in PvE. I think this thing can roll rapid hit Vorpal weapon, and that is an absolutely disgusting combination for PvE. There's also the possibility of getting tunnel vision and opening shot, as well as the classic top roll on this weapon, quick draw opening shot. Now, one thing you want to realize as well about this bad boy is that it has 30 aim assist, which is same as the Suros slug shotties like Good Bone Structure and Ganora's Axe. Unlike obviously the recent legendary slug shotties that we've had. That I've had up to the high 60s I believe with aim assist and it will make a difference. You'll probably find this one a little bit harder to use at first. Once you get used to it though you should be clicking heads if you know how to use a slug shotgun and of course with this being a legendary you have that added advantage of wait for it wait for it in air accuracy boom. You all know that feeling when you jump in the air with chaperone or duality you never quite know what you're gonna get. That's not the case with this thing. I just want to say it feels really, really good. The one thing I would change on the roll is that I would really prefer to have Assault Mag. Didn't get Assault Mag, that's fine. Obviously, it's very hard to get the perfect roll first time around. Hopefully on my own account, I'm gonna get the roll I want. And I'm very, very curious to try out a Tunnel Vision version of this weapon, because Tunnel Vision really does complement Slug Shotguns quite a little bit. But reloading after a kill grants you massively increased aim assist plus Boosted ADS speed with tunnel vision. Rip that bubble, by the way. Speaking of tunnel vision, eh? Got him. But yeah, I was on an absolute roll with this shotgun. I just once I got into a zone with this thing, every shot was a headshot, and it just felt really, really good. I think I might like this more than any other legendary slug in the game. I would go that far as to say. Now, you know, will I get the roll I want on my account? Time will tell. Will you like this shotty as much as me? I don't know. I'm obviously something of a slug shotgun enthusiast. Now that tunnel vision roll, being able to get increased aim assist and ADS speed after getting a kill, the one downside to that is that it needs a reload. Now, how many times are you going to be re reloading after a kill? Well, actually, pretty often, really. The only thing is, if people, you know, people are pushing you like two in a row, you're not going to have time to activate the perk. But in Rumble, I was always thinking to myself whenever I was picking up ammo, damn, if I had tunnel vision, I had more than enough time to proc the perk and line up the next guy. So that's probably the next roll I'm going to try on the shoddy. Probably tunnel vision opening shot would be the way to go. Now I want to talk about rapid hit. And like I said, it's pretty hard to get the most out of rapid hit in PVP because obviously rapid hit is kind of more suited to primary weapons, I would say, because obviously there's more chance of you getting off rapid hits with a primary, right? I only had like maybe two or three occasions where I got a nice little double where I was actually in time to get the advantage of rapid hit. It disappears pretty damn quick. I will say though, the reload buff is pretty nice. Even though you might not get time to take advantage of the increased stability, it'll help you chamber up that next shot pretty quick. So it's not bad at all. And when I did get one or two doubles using rapid hit, it did feel good. Like, wow, you know, rapid hit on a shotgun. If it lasted a little bit longer, maybe they should put in rapid hit spec, yeah? That'd be cool, hey Bungie? You know what I'm saying? I think in PvE though, you're gonna be getting a lot of use out of this perk. It's really, really good. And it just, I don't know, with or without rapid hit, I had opening shot at least, and it just, this gun just, I don't know, man. I was clicking heads. That's all I want to tell you. Your boy was just clicking heads with this bad boy. I can't wait to get my hands on one myself. Obviously, RNG can be a cruel mistress, but the cool thing is we do have focusing and all of that. And this season, unlike last season, in my opinion, we can actually focus weapons worth getting. So there's so many good weapons to go for. The shot is great. The auto rifle is great. The pulse rifle is great. But the VOG weapons coming, you've got one or two decent Iron Banner weapons in the lineup. Things are looking pretty decent on the loot side, I'm not gonna lie. 
And yeah, I, one thing I will say is felt a little bit dirty in these Rumble games because I was all in on the shotgun aping. I was not playing back or playing my primary at all. But at the end of the day, this is a shotgun review video. So I'm, um, you know, I'm just giving the shoddy a full, full test for you guys, putting it through its paces. And yeah, dude, I don't know. I just really like this gun. The one thing I haven't talked about yet as well is the sights. I think the sights really help this gun to feel good for me. It's really, really clean. Doesn't get in this way too much. And that lack of aim assist compared to others, in some ways, it actually feels better. Now hear me out, less aim assist equals better. I think in the case of slug shotties, it might be the case that that 60 aim assist is very sticky on those legendaries. And there's one downside to that is that those small adjustments you can make with less aim assist can be very, very useful. Speaking of which, I definitely didn't teabag that hunter. I definitely didn't do that. You guys didn't see that. Don't forget to like the video if you like seeing hunters get teabagged though, because yeah, I bring the content to you. You know what I'm saying? Right to your doorstep. Six videos already. It's only been two days in this DLC. I really hope you guys have enjoyed all the content so far. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos, make sure you check them out. I've done a video on the new pulse rifle, on the auto rifle, on the exotic sidearm, and now we've done the crucible hand cannon for real this time. Plus we went, we went over some of the best bits of loot as well in the DLC, which was nice. And here we go, we're gonna finish this game off with a nice little kill there. And that is all she wrote for this one. Man, this gun is absolutely great. I've gotta give props to Bungie for the loot this season. It's really, really good. The implementation of stasis is a disaster, but hey, gotta look at the positives as well, I guess, right? Right, guys? Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you drop me a follow on Twitch. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, check me out on Twitch, guys. Watch the live show. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my sponsors. If all PCs make the best custom PCs around, Focus is the best gaming supplement on the market, and Battle Beaver make the best controllers. Code DFP for 10% off on all of those products. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.